feel like God led me to Bethany House. Uh, I had no idea how to go about finding a publisher. And so we used to have what we called promise boxes. And as I uh, was praying about this a lot, I thought of my little promise box and I went and pulled out one of these promises. Well, the scripture verse didn't tell me anything. It was so totally different from what I was looking for. But I flipped it over and on the back side there was a little four-line verse. And in the middle of this verse was the word fellowship. And it was capitalized. And I thought, that's strange to capitalize fellowship in the middle of a sentence. So I started looking for publishing houses with the name fellowship and found Bethany Fellowship at that particular time. And uh, I sent a query letter and Carol Johnson was the one that answered. And when I got the letter back from her as uh, the editor, uh, I thought, ah, oh, it's a woman. A woman will understand what I'm trying to do in this little book I had written. When her query letter came to my desk and she had attached several sample chapters with it, I read those and, and was immediately captivated. There was something about uh, the way Jeanette told the story. It was um, simple but not simplistic and it was powerful and it connected with me emotionally in a way I, it's difficult to describe. Carol was really a believer, strong believer in this. So she came to our, uh, one of our weekly uh, editorial meetings where we decide to publish or not to publish, and she made a pitch for this. At that time, it was five men and me. And uh, we sat at a, in a circle at a table, and I stared into the faces of these five men who were polite, but probably skeptical. So they listened and uh, we talked it through and we felt that there was time for something different, something new. And even though Jeanette uh, didn't have a platform as we talk about today, uh, we felt that her story had power and was worth pursuing. And sure enough, Bethany House took it and that was the first big step to actually get it published. The book was introduced, launched at the 1979 Christian Booksellers Convention, and we had 45 copies in this floor display, which was a sample for retailers to see what they could do with this new fiction. Often books are given away at the Booksellers Convention, and copies started disappearing off that display until we finally had only one copy left and we had to shrink wrap it in place so that it wouldn't disappear too. So we uh, thought at that time, this is gonna be good, but we possibly have a winner here. It still is a miracle to me what has happened through the years. Things that I would have never dared to dream have happened with that little story. And God is still surprising me.